The, the past few years I've been, um, I had a daughter, so obviously I was focusing on being a mom, and I took about a year off just to, you know, focus on strictly her. And then I, you know, I grew a lot as a person, and I had to really grow up, and I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. So about five years ago, I moved to Nashville, me and my little girl, started writing. I fell in love with the process. I really started, you know, it felt good to be able to tell these stories and be able to, you know, sing them, make them universal. So for the past five years, I've been making music, but I've just been perfecting it so that now I'm able to share because I feel like I've really found who I was as an artist. I think it was really, really awesome to hear the reaction that people had to how could I want more because I did put my heart and soul into it. I did take a long time to do this project and um, the reaction that I got was, it couldn't have been better. It meant a lot that people really felt the emotion behind it and believed in the authenticity of what I was saying. So, of course, it was awesome. I think that it's different because I was um, on a TV show when I was younger as a child. This is my first step as an adult making a career decision and I think that's something completely different because I'm choosing to make this choice um, um, every step of the way. And of course the reaction is going to be different because my last name is Spears, my sister is a huge pop star. So people probably scratch their heads a little bit but that doesn't bother me because it just, you know, it just, it's, it's expected and it gives me more of a reason to prove that I love what I'm doing and make them believe in me. And usually after I sit down with somebody for a little bit, they completely get it. But of course, I mean, they're gonna scratch their heads for a second. Um, my whole family all had like a different taste. Um, my mom loved like Elton John. Like that was, I remember like being little and I can just remember hearing that. My sister was of course into the pop stuff. She loved like TLC and you know, all, all those kind of things. And um, my dad though, he was the one who was in love with country music. So I think that was something that really was a big part of our relationship and it has a big effect on my music. So um, I kind of had a little bit of everything, but my country influence comes from my daddy. I think as we all know, the music business is the music business. Um, I, I do think that uh, any sister would ask her sister for advice. It doesn't matter what your job is. So I think just in life in general, I just, I just really you know call her up if there's anything that I need to hear from or need advice on and it's just a sister thing. It's not really anything about the jobs, but it is nice having someone who's obviously been very successful and been through it all be able to tell you, you know, little secrets here and there. We were, um, I played her some of my stuff and she really loved like the fact that, you know, I was writing it and she loved it and she's like, why don't you come in the studio with me and why don't we do a song together? And really it, it was not like some big thought out plan. It was like two sisters being like, hey, we were to do this together. Why haven't we done this yet? So the song is just like a fun, like chew your bubble gum, kind of happy sister song. And um, that's just kind of where it came from. It wasn't like, you know, some big idea we had. Definitely, I think that she's in a different genre. So obviously that's, you know, and I'm in, a, you know, country and pop are completely different. But I think you get influence from, you know, being brave and being able to, you know, go out there, whether it's she's out there dancing and I would never do that. And then she thinks it's brave that I'm out there like, really laying it on the line with some of my lyrics. And so I think that, um, you know, I, I do think that we influence each other just as far as the craft goes, even though it's two completely different sounds. Lying in the green grass Underneath the blue sky Looking at a good man What a